Hey guys, it's Danny. Now I am not a vegan, not a vegetarian, not dairy free. As a matter of fact, I don't really have any specific dietary restrictions. But I do believe that everybody can benefit from more plant-based nutrition in their diets. And almond milk is a great alternative to traditional milk. So for this how-to, I'm showing you how to make homemade almond milk. Before you make almond milk, you need to soak one cup of raw, preferably organic almonds in some cold filtered water. You need just enough water to cover your almonds. And the goal is to let it sit anywhere between eight and 48 hours. So what I usually do is I set it up after dinner or right before I go to bed. And this way, when I wake up in the morning, my almonds are ready to go. What you'll notice is that once your almonds have soaked, they'll absorb some of that water and get really plump, just like these guys. So what you want to do is drain out the soaking liquid and then get the almonds into a blender. Now for every one cup of almonds that you have, you're going to need four cups of water. And again, just make sure that it's a water you'd be comfortable drinking. Now, technically speaking, these are the only two ingredients you need to make almond milk, but I like to add a little bit of flavor and sweetness to my almond milk. So I also add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one pitted date. Now, dates are naturally super sweet, so this is gonna sweeten up our almond milk without having to use any processed sugars. And then just one little baby kiss of salt, which may seem weird, but the salt really brings out the sweetness of the vanilla and the date in the almond milk, and it just takes it right over the top. Then pop a lid on, and you're just gonna blend this up for about a minute, a minute and a half, or until all the almonds have broken down, and you see that you've got a nice, light, creamy, frothy almond milk. Now remember, you can play with the flavorings as well. If you like a chocolate almond milk, you could add in a little cocoa powder. If you want it all to be a little sweeter, you could throw in an extra date or two. I would recommend experimenting a little bit until you find the flavor that is perfect for you. Perfect. It's light, it's frothy, it's exactly what I'm looking for. So what we need to do now is separate the almond milk from the almond pulp. So what I do is I take a fine mesh strainer, lay that on top of a four cup measuring cup, and then line it with a piece of cheesecloth. And then slowly but surely, you want to pour the almond milk on top of the cheesecloth through the strainer and what you'll see is that all of the milk is gonna drip to the bottom and all of the almond meal is gonna stay up in the cheesecloth. And feel free to grab a spatula and just help it along a bit. Then once it looks like it's drained out as much as it's going to on its own, pull up all the sides of the cheesecloth and then just strain out every last bit that you can get. And then what you're left with is this light, frothy, creamy, fresh almond milk. Mm. It's light, bright, clean, fresh, so much better than anything you're gonna buy at the grocery store and too easy not to try. From here, store it in any airtight container that you have. I love these little jars. They're like little milk jars that come with the lid and they'll last in your fridge three to five days. Now, as for the almond pulp, AKA the almond meal, this is the protein and the fat from the almonds, and there's a lot you can do with this. You can use it in baking. I showed you guys how to use it in almond pancakes. You can also toast this up in the oven, and then you have a nice, light, toasty almond crunch that you could put on top of oatmeal or on top of your yogurt. Lots of different things to do, and if you've ever made almond milk yourself, I'm curious to know what do you do with the leftover almond meal? Let's hear all about it down in the comments below. For more simple and nutritious recipes, tips, and ideas, be sure you come on over to cleananddelicious.com where you can print all the recipes, save your favorites right to your very own personal recipe box, and subscribe to my newsletter. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with another how-to. Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, from the top. Except, I do believe from the top. Now, ideally, you want to let this go from the top. From the top. top? From the top top. Too slow.
it's okay. From the top. 